Hello, in this know-how video tutorial, we will show you how to set up and configure the Epson Workforce Pro WF C5390 color printer in simple and easy steps. So let's dive in and get started. To start setting up your Epson Workforce printer, follow the guide and proceed step by step as you move along the tutorial. First, open the packaging box and take out the printer unit from the packaging box. Then, remove all the protective materials including any sealing tape from the printer's outer body. Lift up the scanner unit and lock it into place. Then, remove all the packaging materials from inside the scanner unit and atop the scanner glass. Then, lower the scanner unit. Take out the power cord and connect it to the rear end of the Epson printer. Connect the other end of the power cord to a nearby electrical outlet. Raise the control panel. Then tap the power button of your printer to turn on your Epson printer. Wait till the printer powers on and completes its startup operations. Please be patient. Once the printer finishes the startup processes, select your country, date and time and preferred language from the control panel's LCD screen. You can always change them later on. Now that you have connected your Epson printer, it's time to install the ink cartridges of your Epson Workforce printer. Let us show you how to do so. Before we proceed, please take note of certain points and treat them as critical. Ensure that no ink gets spilled on the printer or on the body of the printer or the inner parts of the printer while you are filling ink into the ink tanks of the printer. To avoid permanent stains, please remove the spilled ink using a damp towel. If the ink gets spilled on your clothings or belongings, then it may not be possible to remove. Number 2. Make sure to keep the ink bottles out of reach from children and ensure not to accidentally drink any of the ink. If any ink gets spilled into your mouth by accident, thoroughly wash your mouth and get rid of the ink inside your mouth without gulping during the cleaning process. So now that we are aware of the precautionary measures, let's move forward in installing the ink cartridges of the printer. Lift up the scanner unit until it locks into place. Gently shake the ink cartridges and remove them from the packaging box. Remove only the yellow tape from each ink cartridge. Insert the ink cartridge into the cartridge holder for each color. Gently press each cartridge down until you hear a clicking sound which confirms that the cartridge has been inserted properly. Repeat for the remaining cartridges. Once finished, lower the scanner unit. Follow the on-screen instructions to begin the ink charging process. For certain Epson Workforce series printers, the ink charging process begins automatically. As a word of caution, do not turn off the printer or raise the scanner unit while the ink charging process is in progress, otherwise your ink may get wasted. The ink charging process takes approximately 5 minutes. Please be patient while the ink charging process is in progress. Also note that as a part of the setup, your product's serial number will be sent to a secure Epson server so that you can be eligible to participate in programs that Epson offers from time to time including the Epson Ink Replenishment Program. You will have a separate opportunity to consent to participating in such programs. Now, coming back to the tutorial, follow the on-screen instructions to select your paper settings. Now, let's proceed in loading a paper stack into the printer's paper tray unit. Before you begin, make sure that the ink charging process is complete. Then, lower the control panel Lift the output tray and pull out the paper cassette. Slide the side edge guides all the way out. Set the front edge depending on your paper size and then slide in the paper stack with the glossy or printable side facing downwards. Slide the edge guides against the paper but not too tightly so that the paper can freely flow through the paper cassette and the paper tray unit. Keeping the paper cassette flat Insert it all the way inside and then lower the output tray. Now pull out the output paper tray extension. Now 
select the paper settings on the control panel of the printer. Now let us connect the fax line if this is required. First, connect a phone cord to the telephone wall jack and then to the line port of the Epson Workforce printer. Refer to the printer's user guide for more information. For WF3820 printer, press proceed button to set up the fax or press set up later to set up at a later point of time. For WF4820 and WF4830 printers, press proceed to set up the fax or press close to set up later. That is it. Your printer fax has been set up. Now is the final step. Let us show you how to install the printer software. First, ensure that the printer is not connected to your computer. Insert the printer's CD or DVD if that came with your printer. Otherwise, visit www.epson.com support to download the latest software for your Epson Workforce printer. Download the setup software and double click on the installer to launch the printer setup software process. Follow the on-screen instructions to finish installing the printer software. When you see the select your connection screen, choose whether you prefer to have a wireless connection or a USB connection. For wireless connections, in most cases, the software should be automatically connect to your wireless network and configure as appropriate. You may need to enter your Wi-Fi network name or SSID and its password. If you prefer to set up and connect through a USB connection with the computer, then select that option. Make sure that you have a USB cable with proper terminals. And that is it. Once finished, your Epson printer should be all configured and ready to use. We hope that you found this video helpful and wish you a great day. Contact us for a superior tech support and printer support experience. Call us at plus one. 888-557-3899